So let's watch a great example of how to diffuse a potentially angry conversation, like a potentially angry situation, like something that could accelerate very quickly. And let's kind of break down why it worked, how it worked, and what he did so well. We're going to watch a video from Cliff, Cliff Grant. It's a video we, we know uh, from previously. It's a, it's a great example of step-by-step -step of how to, how to diffuse a situation, how to actually, you know, uh, make this work right, so it doesn't es it doesn't escalate like crazy, which it can absolutely do. Hold up. Okay, so let's see how Cliff. This is a video from Cliff Grant. Angry dairy farmers try to take my camera, my craziest vegan outreach ever. This was a great video from Cliff, where it basically shows uh, how to diffuse the situation in a very effective way, and I think he did a great job of it. Let's have a look. No, I won't use that. Just just even from the first eight seconds, it's not they're saying it's not animal abuse. And he's like, what's not animal abuse? Right? So instead of saying jump into a conclusion, which a lot of us do, right? That that's that's a big, big trigger for people is when when they say something and instead of asking them what do they mean, you jump to a conclusion and assume what they mean, and then they get angry because they think that you think you know what's going on in their mind, and then it, it causes a massive problem. Um, it causes them to get their back up. So immediately, just eight seconds in, what 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 do you mean? He's asking, like what what what's not animal abuce? Well, what's your animal, what animal, animal abuse? Animal? Are you talking about? Dairy cows and chickens. Yes. Oh, well, tell me, tell me about dairy cows then. Tell about dairy cows. What do you know about dairy cows? I'm a dairy farmer. What's your name, by the way? Jimmy Brown. See that? So watching it again, the guy he sees the guys riled up. What's your name, by the way? It's just it, it was a very quick little thing, and it again, it, it's like a. Diff I don't know if he does it on purpose, but that diffuses things a little bit. What's your name, by the way? Okay, yeah. Step back. Try to just say you know don't don't stop stop let's stop this escalating. That's what he's trying to do. Okay, Brian. Okay, what do we know about dairy farms? Let me ask you a simple question. Let's share your thoughts on animal abuse. There you go. Hey, yeah. How's how's their animal abuse? Why? Tell okay. me your thoughts about okay. Dairy okay. Let me ask you a couple of questions first. Right. right. Ah, <clears throat> well, if somebody was kicking a dog over there. Is that abuse or not? Oh, no, dogs misbehaving. I have to sort it out. Like no. Oh, dogs not misbehaving. The dogs not doing any Fair harm to that anybody. Abuse, yes. That's abuse. But no, tell me about that. Why is it abuse? Because he's been in the shape of a fucking dog for a reason, so we, we don't go around hammering cows, like. Okay, so, all the cows that are in the fields here, okay? They're all female, yeah? Uh -huh. Where's all the boys? Huh? Where's, where's all the boys? Hey, funny enough, do you, do you drink milk? No. Do you drink almond milk? Are you vegan? Yeah. Yeah. Here, but here, what about all them wee insects? I asked you a question, but you didn't answer my question. Where's the you boys? Me where's the boys? Where's all the boy calves? Riding the cows. No. <laughs> I know where they are, mate. I don't know where they are exactly. Are. Get slaughtered okay. for our for our beef burgers. A hard to be oh. lovely beef burger, sir. So you do agree with animal abuse then? I no, don't. Animal abuse eating fucking burger. Uh, here, well, here. well. So you'll see they're getting they're basically in his face. They're chatting shit in his face. He is his his body language is still kind of playful, even though he's saying things that are clearly you know he's saying things in a pretty tough way. But he's got a playful body language, Cliff, and he's got even got a kind of playful. Uh, tone as well, but they're they're not playing. They're quite serious, but his his behavior, his body language, and his voice is is all aiming to keep things uh, diffused, right? Keep things at, a, at calm. They want it to go off. They want to fight. Listen, well, what, about, what, about, what about hanging an animal upside down and cutting their throat? Here, is that what, abuse or not? Here. Hang it the other way up the bottle and run it. So, <laughs> so, so, it's cutting somebody's throat abuse or not? I mean, hey, that's, that's not someone. Somebody. That's someone. That's a human being. That's yeah. murder, lad. Okay. okay. But here, that's so are animals, are animals things? No, they're animals. Here, can I ask you a question? Yes. It gets pretty Where your almonds come from? Where do my almonds come from? Oh, you're, you're out fucking out the fucking world away. And you find them on the plane. And you all, yeah. all, all blame cows for methane, methane mm -hmm. pollution. I'm not here talking about. I'm not here talking about pollution for a start. I'm There's a lot going on, honestly, guys, with Cliff's body language that it's really important to look at. You see the way he stood and the way he's, he's, he's his legs crossed. He's in no way nervous or scared or anything of these two, and it shows. He's not getting wound up by them. Uh, he's not letting them. You know, he's not letting letting them rile him up at all. And it's it's a great lesson, and, and it's really difficult to do this when these two are coming at you. You see, a lot of activists will be a bit more firm. You'll see, like you'll still, especially if it's a guy, will be like more firm. Like, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking stand up to these guys. Like ego versus ego. Where Cliff is like, nah, I'm good. 
you know, I guess, I guess also because they're so much younger than him as well. Maybe he's just like, whatever guys, you're going to, you're going to be little shit. So I'm just going to treat you like children kind of thing. Cause he's kind of what he's doing. He's not treating them like children, but he's not taking them. He's not taking their aggression seriously. That's what he's doing. He's dismissing their aggression. He's dismissing their insults and just trying to get to the point of what he wants to say. I'm here talking about the uh, ethics of killing yes. animals. Yeah, animals. Yes, you yes. kill them um, wee insects, 11 them fucking mm -hmm. no plants and shit. Yeah, I'll tell you the best thing So let, let, you, let me answer the question you asked me at the start about the dairy industry. All right. So the females are artificially impregnated yes. because the only time they produce milk is when they're pregnant or have given birth, no, correct? Bullshit. Oh, correct. Really? No, 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 they produce milk every single no, day. They don't, yes, they yes, do. yes, because you've made them pregnant and then you take no. the calf away no. and then you keep no. on milking them. I milk 156 dairy cows and only yes. 56 them are in calf. Right. And the rest aren't, so we milk away at them. So the you only, you only calf. calf them once? And well, they're like once a year. Once a year, yeah. 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 So and and then they about produce milk for that calf. But you take the calves away and you take the milk to sell to human yeah, beings. How about, how about a woman? That's what, that yeah. keeps Here. the world going. How about a woman? <laughs> What? She, she comes, well, she comes and he, no, I'm pregnant. <laughs> yeah. pregnant yeah, but a woman consents to be made pregnant. A female cow doesn't. Yeah, what happens? You've got a ball in the field. A male cow. Do you think it's okay to, ha to, to artificially impregnate animals? Right. Yes. Put your fist that inside keeps, an animal. No, you don't put a fist on it. You put your hand on it with a fucking metal rod. I know exactly what you do. I've seen it. Yes. Have you? Yeah. The word going and right. then you put your hand inside their what ass and here? manipulate the surface. It's so weird that guy keeps saying he keeps the world going round. What a weird thing to say. Rick's correct or incorrect. Nope. See here. See a dairy cow. There's two different ways you can put them in calf. A cow can show its hell in heat, then you put your shit, then you artificially and inseminate down here. Yeah. Then what they call her, they're not hers, man. Well, you're they're not fucking animals. her standing here like, slowing big animal abuse. Oh, so you see, like this is a this is like a point for Cliff now, right? What's going to happen? You're a fucking old horse standing here slabbering about animal abuse. How's he going to respond? Oh, we're not all. You know, fuck all about animals. No, fuck all about animals. You fucking vegan cunt, they call him. Like, in his face, right? Watch how he reacts. Hey, Farmers don't go around shouting. Man, first of all, I'm not a vegan cunt. And number two, I know a lot about animals because I'm an animal, right? Cyclists. Now, that, that, just look at the way that that's standing your ground and still diffusing the aggression, diffusing the situation. He's, he stands his ground by saying that he's not he's not a, you know, a vegan cunt and that he knows about animals because he's an animal rights activist. And it's so calm and it's so specific that they actually, there's like a little gap of silence when they're thinking like, what do they say next? Look. First of all, I'm not a vegan cunt. And number two, I know a lot about animals because I'm an animal rights activist. And I educate people on, on what happens in animal agriculture. They don't even know what to do. Because you know what I mean? It's it's also, these two are, these two are pathetic. Like, these two are like, Pr probably they would they would if, if if cliff tried to smack one of them they'd run away you know what i mean these these are not brave people but yeah it, it's it's still great that he did how he act, how he acts here and diffuses that horrible situation is is really it's a really good example of how to be if you end up in this kind of situation with somebody whether it be a family member or a friend so you didn't answer my question a stranger Kicking a dog is bad, that's abuse. Yes. But hanging an animal, another animal upside down and cutting it's their throat. It's fucking dead. It's not dead. Yes, it is dead. <laughs> no, it's it's See when you go get a tooth removed, what do they do? Freeze your mouth? Yes. You can't feel it. Yeah. Exactly, I'm thinking we did animals. So are you saying it's humane to bolt gun somebody in the head? That's fucking animal, animal abuse shit. Leave the sign alone. Are you telling me that to bolt. Again, you know, animal abuse shite, this fucking shite they're saying. Cliff's just like nothing. He doesn't even, he doesn't even react to it at all. He, he, like I said, every time they're aggressive or insult him, he either dismisses it. Doesn't even doesn't even impact him at all. It doesn't take it seriously, or he doesn't take it seriously, but he still responds to it in a very non-serious way. Like he's not like, "Hey, how dare you call me that?" He's just, oh, I'm, "I'm not what you say I am," and I know about this because of this. It's very just objective. He's very objective. Gun somebody in the head is humane. A cow's not a fucking human. Here, but here, don't gun an animal in the head then. Yeah, it's humane. How about, yes. how about the you death penalty? Just cut throat without putting a book on the head. Yeah, but the death penalty is a different thing. Somebody's done right. something wrong with the death penalty. The cows have done nothing wrong in anybody. They're completely innocent. Ah, 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 come. No. I call him a cunt again. Uh, look, why can why can vegans not? I'm being respectful here. Why can I'm being respectful to you? Am I yes. being respectful to you or not? I, I, I didn't say you weren't. Vegans go around pro, pro saying that, that farmers should quit farming. We don't no. go around. Yes, they do. No, I yes, support farmers. Do. I support farmers. Hey, you support all them fucking wangers that grow fucking vegetables and all that shit. Yes. What, what's wrong with that? I didn't say there's anything wrong with it. But why 
It's a good question. Again, what's wrong with that? <laughs> you support all those farmers that go around doing that shit, those wankers. What's wrong with that? I didn't say there's anything wrong with it. You know, these 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 questions that he asks, what's wrong with that? Uh, what are you talking about? These these are good because this guy doesn't even know what, what why he's got a problem with vegetable farmers. Why 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 do you have to go around telling us that we should stop farming cattle? Because we don't go around telling you. Because we, it we causes an immense amount of violence and cruelty. Oh, hi, hi. Well where's all the boy calves? If they're good enough, they're kept for fucking breeding. If they're not, they go for meat. Yeah. So yeah. what happens when they go for meat when they so go to a slaughterhouse? Does everybody want to turn fucking vegan and start eating all that shit you eat? It's like fucking fake sausage rolls and all that. I don't eat a lot of that stuff, man. I eat a whole food plant this diet. Eat, I eat a lot of vegetables yeah. and nuts and seeds and pulses and all sorts right, so of you don't stuff. Eat any, any There's meat. literally thousands of edible plants in this world. I'm 56 in January. I haven't eaten an animal product since I was 19. I am thriving on a vegan diet. So if I can do that, and an animal doesn't have to be taken to a slaughterhouse and hung upside down and so you think have their throat cut. Yes, because yes. hey. most people eat, hey. on average, about 150 animals in a year. So if I can ask one person to stop paying animal agriculture for animals or for dairy products or for eggs. You need to and this is the point where Cliff's making too much sense. Oh, look at this. Go and get your head fucking looked at talking that shit. You just go and get your head looked at talking that shit. Right? And watch how he takes it. <laughs> Man, that's not much of an argument, to be honest. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Laughs it off. So, like, I know this is this is an example of someone who is clearly a laid back dude, someone who's you know, Cliff's good at this, right? This is his this is his way of you know, this is his way of being, but it is it is a very good way to be. This, if you apply how Cliff is here to your personal life, that's great. If you can be that chill and still make firm points, but not get insulted when someone calls you a name, not not take it to heart, not not get riled up, not call them names back. If you can do all the things Cliff did in your personal life, whenever this kind of stuff comes up, you'll be. It'll be a lot better uh, for you. It'll be a lot better for your relationships, and you'll probably have more impact than you would have had if you screamed at them, right? Like like I did, you know, don't scream cunt at them. Um, a good thing to remember, in my opinion, when, when and whenever in a conversation with anyone is to remember or to try and put like a screen in front of you. Imagine like a screen in front of you, like <clears throat> that, to block the shit and let them throw all the shit they want to throw at you, but have it hit this imaginary screen you've got and it doesn't actually get to you. That way, if you imagine that, if you kind of vision this this imaginary kind of shit screen, okay, they say something, uh, something that would would offend you, hit the screen, doesn't matter. It's not about me. It's not about my feelings. It's not about my emotions. It's about the objective reality that we need to talk about, that they are paying for this and animals suffer and die. That's what we need to talk about. What, how I feel about them doing that, it's not important. It makes me angry. Who cares? I need to think about how to get them from A to B, from A being an animal abuser to B not being an animal abuser. How my emotions don't come into it along the way, right? Or well, they shouldn't come into it. I should try to stop them from coming into it, especially if they're negative, especially if they're going to cause a problem. So that shit screen can can quite help with that. That shit screen idea can help you uh, just just focus on okay. You'd be a human, obviously, you have a conversation, but when they say something that's triggering, it can help to try to, to try to have that idea in your head. Um, this, this video, by the way, is angry dairy farmers try to take, to take my camera. And later on, they do come back and try and take his camera. We can go to that point if you want. Let's just move forward a bit. It's like somewhere around here, I think. Oh, one minute. I don't know where it is. I kind of wanted to skip. To oh, it was there, maybe. Hold up. It's here. Here you go. Oh God, no. Brittle. It, Absolutely it brittle. My heart. It so, my heart. in case you don't know already, I'm not even going to go through the questions that I normally ask. I'm a vegan activist. I'm trying to be a vegan. I'm, I'm on my way. Here, man, leave the camera alone. Leave the camera alone. Stop shouting. Super aggressive. You hear them shouting at him. You're talking shite. They're shouting at him. Nasty little fuckers, those two. But yeah, he. you got to come across these people, and, and, and like I said, Cliff dealt with them the best way. That, that that that's possible, you know. It was really really good. And then, on the other side of the coin, sometimes it, it goes a different way, and there's there's different reasons for that. So we've we've taken the lessons there from Cliff, and I think those lessons are really good for those, as I said, those private conversations, those 
individual kind of conversations with family members, uh, with friends that you that you know well, who you, you don't want to get into some kind of intense debate with because they're a friend and it's probably not going to go well. It rarely does go well with friends and family. So that's that. And then here's another example of a video that oh. I actually, um, I think I saw all the way through once a while ago. But this is one from Joey Carbstrong. And I wanted to watch this with you guys. This one's called Carnival versus Veganism. Veganism debunked. And this is an example of something a little bit different. And we're going to analyze how this goes as well. Uh, if you say that I abuse animals, you abuse plants. You're a, a plant killer. You drag them out. You're of giving the, me really good side. content here, dude. Eh? Yeah. Well, cool. Do it that your way. But if you're going to yeah. come and touch Why not? me, bro, we're going to have a problem. Man. Wait, you're threatening me, mate. Hey, look at him. Hey, man. Awesome. Do you know me? Um, yeah, I know, man, from the YouTube videos, bro. Ah, uh, you do. You watch yeah, the YouTube videos, yeah. then. Yeah, where are you from? Czech Republic. Ah, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I'm Frank, by the way. Frank, Joey, nice, Joey. Nice yeah. to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, mate. So it starts off pretty amicably, right? You wouldn't imagine it would go where it goes. Um, yeah, man. You've got an interesting argument against the veganism, I hear. Oh, bro, I've been there, you know. You were vegan. Now you're you're an ex-vegan. I was actually brought into vegan family so my you father born into a vegan family yeah, my father is actually 67 he's still believing in it he's actually very angry with me because i'm not following his wishes anymore you know and he's not doing it for like a big uh, animal rights he but he just believes in the energy oh hell well yeah. that's not what veganism is about it's about animal rights yeah awesome yeah yeah and, yeah and i understand your point of view and i i would probably never buy a food you know the animal from places where it's been cruelly treated them. yeah exactly okay explain what cruel treatment is to you what is Look. cruel treatment uh, so far so good right and um, joey's following the basics of of you know asking questions open-ended questions what's cruelty to you so it, it, it's all going well so far but as we know from the intro it doesn't stay that way um keeping the animal out of his natural environment okay so as long as the animal is on the soil and is given a fresh water and is exposed to the sun, okay. I found it to be right to be used to feed our needs as a, as a humans. And the, what happens to them in the slaughterhouse? They say this cow above here, this is a dairy cow, say she was on grass her whole life. Look, you, then, can, you can see this as a, as a result of our society, you know? Oh yeah, of course. Because we, we're trying to provide a rights for everyone. Try, trying to provide rights for rights. everyone? Yeah, that's the you know the mission of governments right yeah. government has its people and the people ex ex expect the government provide the needs for the mass masses and you know back in the they day they don't always though do they oh, it's always it's, activists it's that change the government uh with yeah. the, the government the government are always changed by activists because if you look at human slavery in america that I don't really understand what he was getting at there. So just just quickly to comment, like, why does he want to change? What does he think it would be? He's looking at the screen. There's a slaughterhouse on the screen. How else would you kill a cow if not for the way that it's done in the slaughterhouse? Is, is he trying to claim this? he's got a better way of doing it? So it's kind of strange how he's like, oh, this is because of society. It's like, no, it's because that's how you kill a cow. That, the government was sanctioning this human slavery, and it wasn't until there was this civil war. You're right, yeah. You know, so... Yeah. The thing is with animals, the government aren't just going to give them rights. That's not how it works. We decide that it's wrong, us as people, and we boycott it, and then we stand against it and lobby government and say, give these animals rights. You know what I mean? But you can't give animal rights because... What do you mean by animal rights? I'll tell you what I mean. Do you, what do you mean by animal rights? You can treat... Good question again. Trying to clarify what actually... What is this guy actually trying to say? Treat them better. That's welfare. You, you, you can't give them choice of... Uh, like they can't choose for themselves obviously you know yeah but we give children rights and they can't choose for themselves oh that's that's a fair yeah. point yeah you know like a child i mean i mean basic fundamental rights like not to be enslaved treated as a product chopped up into pieces and sold you know well just but how you then can consume it you know in the in the good manner you have to somehow you know exactly it, that's man. my exact point yeah. You cannot consume animals without robbing them of their life and their rights and chopping them up into pieces. Yeah, it's impossible. Then how can you provide for people in a city like this with a high quality food, man? How would you do it in your, in your well, idea? We already you... grow more than enough food to feed this population and the population of land animals, which is 10 times our population. You know, the, know. the land animals on earth that we eat, I know, outnumber man. us 10 to 1. But my point is that you can't expect 
feed a human body with a plant to perform on the level we meant we're supposed to function. I completely oppose that with scientific data, Bro, you know. Yeah. And now this is where it gets, I guess it turns. Um, you know, you have a mount mountains of science supporting plant-based diets and you can see it's just now the, the evidence isn't on your team. The other guy, when Joey said that the scientific data, when he, when he stopped doing the questions and started to make statements, this guy's ego kicked in. Uh, he, he, he visually, you know, you saw him physically uncomfortable and now he's got his hands in front and he's kind of pumped up a little bit and now he's pissed because um, because Joey's now locked heads with him, right? Came with this. In my know. opinion, all this data is just the way to manipulate and control the masses. That's a conspiracy theory. That's not based in any evidence. Well, That's we your opinion. Like we have the uh, Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics with a big peer-reviewed statement. Now, do you see the difference between Cliff and Joey? And we're going to get to why this is later. You see the very key difference, right? Joey tells him, uh, you know, you you are, that is a conspiracy theory. You know, he's telling him, you're a conspiracy theorist. I'm using data. You're wrong. I'm right. That's what Joey's just basically said. If you read between the lines, that's what he just said. And they weren't, this statement wasn't peer reviewed by vegans. Okay. And they're saying a plant-based diet can be healthy for all stages of the lifestyle, pregnancy, infancy, it's adulthood. in essential vitamins and minerals and proteins no, and no, fats. No, that's not true. It is. No, it's not. Um, it's just a, a diet that isn't well planned is deficient. Now you can be a meat eater and eat, be eating a deficient diet. So it's right. not anything inherent in a plant-based diet if it's well planned. So if vegan diet is uh, lacking vitamin B12, well, and you have to only way to get it is to inject yourself. Into no, the that's not true. So that's not true. What other way can you? You can get it from a supplement without injecting yourself. All right. But so what's the problem there? There's proof that a supplement is not the same as if if it's come from a natural source. What's it? Where does a B12 come from? Well, it's in basically anything that has something to do with bacteria, right? So B12 is produced by bacteria that lives where? Yeah. In our gut. Where does it come from? Well, it's a it's the way. You know, the energy is transmitting in our body. Okay, you've just proved you know nothing about B12. So you're using that as an argument to justify an animal holocaust. This is the no, problem here. We can go. You see that again, Joey's way is, is, is very, very different. He's going, he's locking heads with this guy, um, completely telling him, you know nothing. You're using that as an excuse. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna educate you. Deeper. Let's no, no, deeper. no, no, that's fine. You don't know anything about B12, and I'm not no, trying to make you. I'm not trying to okay. make you feel bad or anything. I'm cool. just saying like you're justifying something horrific right now. No. And you don't know where B12 no, comes I'm... from. No animal makes vitamin B12. Cows don't make B12. Chickens don't make it. Pigs don't make it. No animal makes vitamin we'll B12. Jump back into the video. Vitamin B12 is made by bacteria that live in the soil. Everybody sneezes. I'm here for a humans, bro. Me too. Me too. And okay. if you were getting abused and killed and chopped up and someone was get, saying B12 though, I'd be protecting you as well and saying that's nonsense. Do you know I'm, what I mean? I'm not trying to justify the way we kill animals, but I'm telling you that you can't come to me and say that to provide, to give me an adequate diet by feeding me with plants, bro. Well, I'm telling you mountains because of... That's so, not I, I the way. You don't obviously know enough about nutrition for me to have a nutritional discussion with you because yeah. you don't know where and B12 you, comes you, from. All right. <laughs> Again... Joey's going straight again for the locking of the heads. That he's he's made a decision. He's telling him, you don't know anything. You don't know enough. You don't know anything. You don't know enough for me to have a discussion with you. Now, if you want to look at this guy, uh, look at his stature. He clearly is a guy. He's a competitive kind of person. You could see he's he's because he's he's training. You can see the way he talks. That he's competitive. You can see his he's a gym guy. His arms, and you can tell that this is going to push his buttons. Joey's a smart guy. He knows that what he's saying is pushing this guy's buttons. He's doing it on purpose. And we're going to get to why after we see this whole thing blow up. Right. You don't know where B12 comes from to start with. Is it made by the bacteria? So, so would you, you like can, me... You can get it in natto, right? Because it's fermented. You can get it in sauerkraut, well, maybe. I can, I, well, so you know you can get plant-based forms of B12 already. So yeah. you know. So why but, would you justify something horrific if you know you can get B12 without stabbing an animal in the throat? Okay. Go outside of the city and survive, man. Show me how many plants you will find Where do you live? to survive. Where do you live? In the middle of the city. So why am I having that discussion with you? You don't live because outside the city. I'm trying to give you the natural environment that we're supposed to live in. And the Brother. city is not healthy environment to well, be in. Well, you live in there. The you live place. there. I'm telling you, you can be vegan in the city oh right goodness. now. Yeah, I'm just so, glad. So 
the guy stood in the middle of the city wearing a hat to block his eyes from the sun is talking about uh, the natural environment and living living the way we should live, wearing clothing and a hat and yeah, sure. It's from me to you. I'm just climbing the ladder to be able to tell people underneath me that this is not the way to go. But I can't tell you, don't do it unless I will do it first, you know what I mean? I'm here to speak for the animals that have been tortured and killed for Man, you. Look, I know, you know your background and you don't know my background, okay? What's your background? I will background? tell you my background. Okay. I've been born in vegan family. My father is mm -hmm. obsessed with eating animal It sounds diet. like he's not hes not vegan. It sounds like he's plant-based for health. Yeah. So he's not vegan for animal yeah. rights. And uh, luckily I wasn't 100% vegan because it could be definitely worse. Why? Because I was born with a So you've never been vegan? Oh, I was vegan. You for said you've never own, been 100% vegan. Yeah, I was for one year when I was 13 to 14 okay. because I wanted to see on myself. If was it a well-planned diet? Yeah, very well. Hey, 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 how, how did you plan your diet? Look, man, I done my absolute best to get the amount of information to look after myself. Well, and if it's at 13 better, years old, I yeah. find that hard to believe. Okay. And how old are well, you now? I'm very dedicated. How I'm old 24. are you? You're 24. So you're talking 10 years ago, the same information doesn't exist. Now, back then, the information that we have now, Bro. is we have much more information and much more science now than you did when yeah. you were 13. People still suffering from eating this diet. You know, People are I suffering from eating a meat and dairy diet too, but dude. Because if you looked at the hospital, who's who's filling up the hospital? Vegans? No. Nah. You know what? Heart disease patients. Yeah, but and you know how they treat them? With carbs and processed sugar. They treat no they don't. They give them bacon and eggs in the morning. What hospital are you going to? They don't give you carbs and sugar, nah, they give you bacon nah, and eggs. They give them basically a low cholesterol diet that makes them even more prone to infections. Mm -hmm. And those people are actually dying because of infections. Oh, Have really? you so this guy's like a, a full-on carnivore diet cultist kind of guy. Oh, really? Actually, all right, you don't even know where B12 comes from, and you're a scientist now when it comes to health. Yeah, now, because now I'm I've telling been, you, oh, I've been shit. actually getting some good resources from someone like a uh, Natasha McBrien. Who is he? Doctor Who? Well, she is a doctor that treat her own child that has autism. Uh, oh yeah. yeah, I've heard of this. She feeds him organs and stuff. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Ridiculous. That's Not based in any science at all. That's no, called an that's anecdote. A, that's the base in our. She has no science, man. I don't. We've care got about science. science as I don't care about science. As long as okay. we live healthy and free lives. So, you know? so we're having a debate about science versus some lady who fed her kid organs, and you're telling me that's research? She's not some lady. She's actually a very well-educated woman. She's a nobody. Okay. You, and who when, are you? He's he's so. <laughs> Joey's like so rude. Uh, she's a nobody, but as I said, there's a reason for it. Well, I'm referencing science. Well, and I'm so you don't worry about what I say about health. Reference the science. How can you tell about someone who actually helps other people to be healthy? Say she's nobody. She's feeding kids organs. How is that helping anyone to be organ uh, healthy? That's animal abuse, right? You can be healthy. You, Man, you won't listen you're to missing science. The point, bro. Bro. What's your name again? Frank. Frank, you won't listen to peer-reviewed research, but you'll listen to some lady like, on the I, internet. If I wouldn't be that's there in myself in the first place, I wouldn't try to argue do, with you. Do you, you realize okay? that's ridiculous? I have my first, okay, now we are obviously no, not no, listening No, 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 listen, listen, you, don't, you won't listen to science, peer-reviewed by non-vegans from the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, mm. but you'll listen to some lady. Okay, I will give you a one idea, all right? 50 years ago, we were told that saturated fat is bad for us. Still is. Cool. So you know what happened since then? Since then we replaced our calories with sugar. You know what happened then? Uh, who said sugar's good? Cardiovascular, listen. Who said He's going for the conspiracy theory uh, that, yeah. Uh, we've, we've been through this on the channel before. We had um, a nutrition undergrad come on and explain this whole conspiracy theory. This guy's fully bought into it. Sugar's you're good for you. Pro you're telling me the science We're having a, we're having a health debate here. We were following it... a science-based reviews, whatever you said. Man, my English is not... No one said sugar's good for you. Who's right. standing here saying, eat sugar, eat sugar? Not me. Well, we I'm still, telling you not still to stab animals. It. We're still recommending the diet okay. based on carbs, which is majority what's this of got, plants. What's it, whole, whole food plant-based diet is yeah. healthy for you. I don't care about what you say about that. I'm All talking right, about so how do you justify murdering animals? So that camera is taking a video of me, and I'm it's very public, happy with that. It's a public place. I hope you will post it. I will. Because I will. if, if you, what you just said, you just said that you don't care about what I have to say. Because you're not referencing any science, you're using anecdotes. I'm just telling you a science-based review in America that says that saturated fat is bad for you. Are you denying this? Saturated fat is bad for you, yeah. Okay, you're denying that. All right. I agree it's bad for you. So oh, no, I don't deny saturated fat is bad the, for you. It is the, bad for what's you. What's the connection between after dropping the saturated fat from the diet, the rise of cardiovascular, uh, cardiovascular disease, Alzheimer, dementia, diabetes? Dropping saturated fat helps all those things? No, since since we took the fat away. 
I'm going to move forward a little bit and because uh, it get, gets to the uh, the bits that we want to and actually okay. simulate it. About. Yeah. Go into the nature and show me the source of okay. your sugar. So tell me. So you prove right, you prove to me you don't know nothing about what you're, you're talking about. Gonna I'm an animal me. rights activist. I know more about health than you, and you're a health freak. All right. So it's it's, it's pathetic. Look, listen to this. All right. Look what's happening on the screen, Man, like and you're having an argument about B12 we all and know, saturated we all fat. know this is a problem. Okay. Let's you're an, you're committing animal abuse when you pay for this, and how can you yeah. just sit here and you talk about saturated fat? What? Tell me. What am I doing wrong to you? You're basically trying to take away who we are as a humans, and you're putting your ideology in you're order an, to. You're paying for animal abuse. What do you want me to say? That we are all wrong, man. You you're, know what I think? Do you think this is wrong? You, all, you admit this is wrong. We're all trying to do our best. That's the truth. No, you're not. And there is no, better you're ways to do things. No, you're, not. you're a grown man. But you're a yeah, grown man, I right? Am. You need to know that you're paying for animal abuse. Cool. You need to know that. Where cool. you get your I meat? That, bro. Where you get your meat? Out of a slaughterhouse. But I, I know that in my heart, if I could do better, I would do it. Well, why don't you do it then, dude? I'm why are you it. arguing with me? I'm trying to do the right thing by these animals. Yeah, cool. Okay. But you can't do the right thing if you if you recommend me to eat sugar in the first place. I never said that, dude. <laughs> yeah, you said. <laughs> I you just, said uh, go I'm and recording this, it. mate. Yeah. Cool. I told you no one told you to eat sugar. I'm trying okay? to tell you that our natural diet is not come from a plants. Whole food, plant-based diet is healthy Doesn't for you. Doesn't exist. That end of discussion. We have science. You you don't need to argue with me. Look at the exist. research. In, in reality, your food doesn't exist. Where did you get your food from? You think these cows exist in nature? They're selectively bred by human beings. Just to keep I, the reason I'm not responding is because we're, we're analysing the attitude and the the you know the energies here and like the the choices and it's clear that Joey's Joey is going and gone into this with the I am going to contest this guy head to head. Uh, I'm going to tell him he's wrong. I'm going to tell him that why he's wrong. I'm going to tell him he's ridiculous, that he's pathetic. I'm going to tell him that it, it, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Like Joey has consciously decided that that's the way he's going to go with this guy. And this is what we're seeing. We're seeing it play out like this because Joey's not always like this. Sometimes he's a bit different. Sometimes he's more open. Sometimes he's asking more open questions. It depends on what his goal is. Today, this is what he's decided to do. Cool. I would okay. kill something else in the nature. What? Anything that what? runs and has a meat. What? Whatever lives around what me, for? man. What Why would for? you do that? Why would you kill animals? For the fat, so I can sustain Why don't you, eat, the why don't you eat some nuts and seeds for fat? Because you can't find that in nature, man. Go into the Woolworths there. You it's all it's modified. It's right there, you this fool. This is all modified. Who cares? Fool. Where are you getting your, well, Who you cares? Cares? Who, Who cares? It's right there. It's right there. It's you, can, modified. you can walk in the it's supermarket. It's modified. These people here who are buying products of animal abuse can walk into a supermarket and choose plant foods. Cool. All right? And That's why would they do it? Because it's a practical solution. It has nothing in it, plants. It's it's denatured food, basically, that is not, you know, missing Based every essential. Based on what evidence? All right, you're missing Based all essential. Based on what evidence? All Provide right. your fucking research, mate. Yeah, you don't have any. Cool. We've got peer-reviewed research mm, supporting yeah, plant-based diets. Yeah, cool. And you've got some lady who feeds her kids organs. It's called an anecdote. I don't know if you know what an anecdote is. Mm. It's a cool story. I call this absolute retardation. It's called a cool story. All, all of what you're doing here, you're basically just we're trying to misleading We're trying people. to protect the animals that you're abusing. And I'm trying to protect the people, bro. From what? From fucking dying on shit diet that we're feeding and getting every That's day. Where is your areas that he thinks people are dying? But evidence this is a conspiracy theory. You know that, right? Oh, what? You're you're spitting conspiracy theories without evidence. All right, so I've provided you the research. You mm. can go look at it. It's a big, it's a big peer-reviewed statement from the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, cool. a non-vegan organization. All right. Okay. And you provided zero evidence. Oh, okay. zero. So what they recommend? They recommend, what What do you mean, what do they recommend? They're saying plant-based diets can be healthy uh, for all stages How of the come? life. How come? They can be healthy for all stages of the life what cycle. What are the requirements of the diet that has... Um, 95%, yeah. Oh, wow. That's disgusting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is full important. carnival. What was the next? You've got corpses decomposing in your bowels. Did you eat a carnival diet? Yeah. Full carnival. Um, 95%, yeah. Oh, wow. That's disgusting. Well, you can say it, this disgusting. is an anecdote, but I feel very well. So your body's a tomb for animals. <laughs> That's what you say, but I actually believe that the animals give me the power that I hold today. That's a supremacist attitude. Cool. Human supremacy. Beautiful. What else? Yeah, I think you're an so animal you abuser. Fiber. What's the next? Thing? I think that you abuse animals, and you, yeah. I don't think you're really conscious of the animals right. that suffer in the slaughterhouse so for you. If you say that I abuse animals, you abuse plants. You're a, a plant killer. You Drag them out. You're giving me really good soul. content here, dude. Yeah. Eh? Because it's ridiculous. You for, compare an animal to a carrot and look, you sound like yeah, a fool. Yeah, look, for so, your community and for your listeners, 
Do you sound this, like a fool right now, this mate? This sound like this. I'm, I'm trying to do here. you a favor here. If you think uh, animal is the same as a carrot, all right, listen. I'm listen, trying to do you a favor. My brother. name is. You can follow me on Instagram. We can talk about it, or <laughs> you can just live your life and uh, not abuse animals and people. I'm a, and I'm eating, a carrot abuser. Eating carrot and spending 10 minutes to chop it up and then cook it. Are you or a carrot activist? Meat. Are you a carrot activist? Or you can just eat meat and that's it, man. Uh, we, we don't, don't want to abuse anything. animals. We don't want to abuse animals, mate. Well, cool. Do it your way, but if you're gonna yeah. come and touch my meat, bro, we're gonna have a problem, man. Well, you're threatening me, mate. No, I'm not saying anything. What are you trying to threaten me for? I'm just telling you that if you're gonna try to take my natural diet away from me, what are you gonna do about it? You are then going into my rights. We're having a fucking discussion. You're going dude. into my rights. You're not getting blended my up in right, a fucking blender, dude. My right is to eat whatever I want to eat, okay? Your right is to abuse animals, yeah? Yeah, I'm not doing that. What gives that. you that I'm right? I'm buying different source anyway, so your source? I, I'm definitely Where's not your touched by this. Where do they get murdered? Well. In, they actually live some good life. They on get the shot farm, in the head. You know? awesome. They get shot in the head. Yeah. You got the head cut off. Well, if I wouldn't live in the city, I would definitely be able to go and are get my own meat. Are you proud oh. of murdering? Man, it's st still quite a lot of this. It's pretty Actually, intense, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. What else do we have in common? Oh, people. he's gone. Okay. People. It gets better. When you refer ref reference research, that's called science. When you reference Weston A. Price or some lady who feeds her kids organs, all right. That's what's called your, a cool what's story. Your values? Let's talk about values. I'm, if you want to judge me as a human, let's talk about values. What's Valu your value in life, yeah? Values? Yeah. I want to try to do my best to end the animal abuse on Earth. All right, okay. another, what's another values that you hold Be yourself? honest with people. Cool. Yeah. Well, beautiful, so you'll talk from your so truth. This, yeah. this is interesting. The other guy's actually using a little bit of cliff here to try and calm things down. So I talk I from my truth? Talking from my truth. Cliff style. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, what else do we have in common? We're human beings. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And what we want to do as a human beings? What are what's our we want to make instinct? Uh, well, I don't know what you want to do. What's your instinct? I, I can't read your mind, okay? But I want to make the world a little bit better than it is. Oh, that's what okay. we share as well. Another okay. thing we share, uh -huh. because this is something that we can now build something on top of. You know, like mm. because now we're just start trying to take away from each other, and I can't do it because you have your belief that's based on ego. I have my. It's not belief. based on ego. Yeah, it is. It's based in evidence. Yeah, it's slaughterhouse cool. is a fucking evil. All right. Okay. All right. That's not ego. Yeah. It's, it's actually it's you know what is ego? I get power from eating animals. That's yeah. ego. What That's power? Good point. Power from abusing the innocent. Right, you, you, you tell you I get power from eating plants, bro. What's the difference between between me and the rock? What's the plants difference? Plants don't suck. Well, I, I think there's a difference between you and a carrot. On the, on the fucking global, on the universal level, we're all one consciousness. No. That's ridiculous. Cool. You're not the same as a carrot. If someone chopped <laughs> up a carrot, I ain't gonna protect him. If someone tried to stab you, if I'm you, gonna stop them. If you think that you're something else than from anyone else, you're the egoist. I think we're different from carrots. We are all we are all one, man. So no. the, it, carrots don't point, deserve rights. You mate. are the egoistic so because funny. I believe I believe that you we're believe all you're one. the same as a rock. Are these guys? We're all At some one. point, yeah, hundred percent. Okay, we're well, all I'm, one. Made, I'm made out of the stars. You, you stars think like a rock. Shit. You think yeah. like a rock when it comes to animal rights. Yeah. You do. You don't think yeah. you don't think from their position. Yeah. You just care about filling your stomach with their bodies and I don't respect that. I wish you all the best. You I too. want your you, too, you and your wife be on an amazing vegan depleted nutrition diet. <laughs> and once your child, which is like me, gonna hate your parents for no, they're gonna, For they're gonna, they're gonna be appreciate. Health. They're gonna be yeah. appreciate. They once, didn't stab animals in the throat. Yeah, once your kid will be happy, uh, happy, healthy, strong human without braces and glasses, which is the result of eating. Do yeah. I have braces? Yeah. Have you been born on vegan diet, like me? Have you been fed by soy milk, like me? Oh no, soy milk. What's that gonna do to you? Well, it's What's not soy milk? Oh, what it's beans? It's not gonna give you the nutrients that a real meat, a real milk. What nutrients are in meat? Well, that you saturated need. Saturated fat. Oh, you need saturated. fat. Yeah, you do. Oh yeah. When you were growing up, you definitely. Who do. said? Where's it's funny how it kind of got better, but then it just went back to a shouting match again. Cholesterol. Oh, you your body produces cholesterol. Your, your body doesn't uh, produce cholesterol. Not when you're a kid. I don't man. eat cholesterol. Well, I'm, I'm gonna die. Yeah, oh my god, I'm gonna die. You're a human, man. <laughs> you're not a fucking. Your kid body that produces has to cholesterol, dude. So, so you know, right, you're so proving you don't know anything about yeah, health. I'm not so even a health advocate. A, if you drink a, I'm a fucking animal rights activist. I know more than you, bro. Look. Look, you're I'm an animal, to right? Put me down? No, I'm, I'm trying, trying to make. To I'm trying to get you to do some research right. before you come and talk you to me. You think that I haven't done my research? You haven't. Okay. Otherwise, you'd know we produce our own okay. cholesterol. Yes. You would know that, cool. brother. But if you're a kid, you can't do that much cholesterol. That's why you drink. <laughs> you don't a have any milk. evidence for your That's claims. That's why you drink a breast milk because yeah. it has an animal I, fat. For how long? Animal protein. For how long? In your critical stage of how, development. Do you still drink breast milk now? Well, I, will, I would if I would have. <laughs> do you drink cow's milk? Uh, Be honest. Yeah, cold press. Okay, milk. you're still breastfeeding. Yeah, cool. Time well, to grow up. 
At least I'm to grow up, mate. I'm growing every day. So. Not a baby cow, bro. So much ego. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Fucking hell. So, what do you have to say here? Yeah. Well, I just got into a health discussion at an animal rights event. I don't like doing that. It's a typical anti-vegan carnivore, but he proved that he doesn't know what he's talking about many times in that discussion. So, right. What was the key, very, very big difference here between Joey and Cliff, right? Well, here's how it is. Cliff, when Cliff's talking to people on the street, he's talking to people because he wants to try to genuinely change that person that he's talking to. And he doesn't give up, even when they're being silly and when they're insulting him and he still tries to talk to them as if they would change, right? Joey, in this occasion, as at least this one specifically, didn't give that guy that same treatment. He looked at this guy and I guess made a decision early on that he's going to use this guy for a video for content rather and, and, and try to go at him head to head. And that's not, that's not a bad thing. Cause the thing is Cliff's videos are good and Cliff's approach is obviously good, but which of these two videos is more likely to bring in more people, right? It's going to be Joey's video. Is it because Joey is, is better than Cliff? No. Is it because is Cliff better than Joey? No. They're completely different videos, completely different takes on a completely different, uh, you know, complete, completely different angle on, on how to go and go into an outreach conversation. If someone's filming you, then you, you want to make this, you want to make this something for social media that other people can be inspired by, then it might be in your best interest to try to you, get into these conversations with people and have it as an actual, you know, considering that in mind to make the best video possible, as opposed to solely focusing on being the most the most calm and the most understanding person possible because calm and understanding sometimes doesn't get the same level of interaction on youtube doesn't get people fired up it doesn't get shared as much whereas the conversations where you are kind of firing back and forth at people the conversations where it does get a little bit heated a bit spicy does tend to get shared more. So you might end up getting reaching more people with the message if you spice up, spice things up a little bit and um, go the way Joey did. So the cliff way that we saw earlier is definitely the, the preferred way for family members and for friends, for sure. And this Joey way is a great way, in my opinion, if you're making content for YouTube. So for example, if, if it's more of a social experiment as opposed to an outreach. So it's it's more that you want people to face up to the truth and you're going to put it in their face and see how they react. You're going to tell it to them and see what happens and film it. Well, that's 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 kind of a social experiment for a YouTube video. And I don't I think that's that's a good way to, to work. If that's what you're trying to do on the channel, you're going you're to put it out there. You're going to tell them the truth. You see how they react and you're going to push them hard. That's a good idea for a YouTube video, but it's not a good idea if you're trying to change that one individual's mind. It's probably less likely to be as effective as um, like a more Socratic, a more um, open method of allowing kind of more discussion and not making them feel um, not making them feel like like uh, like talking over them or telling them you're you don't know what you're talking about stuff like that. That's not good to change someone's mind. It's 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 good for a video. It's good for content for sure, though, uh, and it gets the clicks going. So that's that's the core difference between these two outreaches. Which one do you guys find yourself doing more often when talking to people? Do you find yourself going more Cliff or more Joey? Put it in the chat right now, live chat. Are you are you more of a Cliff or more of a Joey when you talk to people about veganism?